What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to disable double click to install on your iPhone running iOS 17 or later. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. The double click to install feature on the iPhone is part of Apple's ongoing efforts to enhance security, particularly when installing apps or making purchases. It requires you to double click the power button to confirm these actions. However, this feature may not be ideal for everyone. For instance, if your power button is malfunctioning, this method becomes impractical. Also, some users may prefer the traditional way of entering a passcode for such confirmations. Begin by opening the Settings app on your iPhone. Once there, tap on your Apple ID at the top of the Settings menu. Inside your Apple ID settings, find and select Media and Purchases. This selection controls how purchases are authenticated on your device. Tap on Password Settings. Here, you'll find options related to password requirements for purchases. Make sure to enable the Always Require Password option. Also, turn on the Require Password for free download setting. This ensures that every time you download an app or make a purchase, your iPhone will ask you for a password instead of requiring the double-click action. Now, go back to the main settings menu. Scroll down until you find Face ID and Passcode. Tap on it. You'll be prompted to enter your passcode. This is a security step to ensure that only authorized users can make changes to these settings. In the Face ID and Passcode settings, look for the Use Face ID 4 section. Here, you will see an option for iTunes and App Store. Toggle this option off. By doing this, your iPhone will no longer use Face ID for App Store purchases and will not prompt you to double-click to install apps. Remember, these changes are reversible. If you ever want to go back to using the double-click to install feature, you can simply follow these steps again and toggle the relevant settings back on. These steps, along with more detailed explanations and additional tips, can be found in the extensive guide linked in the video description. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.